Hey everyone, Chris here with Lowe's and today we have our good friend Jimmy and we are gonna build some hanging shelving using some perforated angle and threaded rod. When people think of storage, you usually think of cabinets or shelves that sit on the ground. But when you run out of floor space, you have to get creative. So today we're gonna use this angle to build shelves that hang from the ceiling. Jimmy, what makes this stuff so great? This stuff is super versatile and you can practically build anything and also customize it to fit within any space. There are a few different ways to cut this material. You can use a hand tool like a hacksaw to cut through the material. It takes a little bit of time, but it makes a clean cut. Or we can use an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to cut through. It leaves a nice clean cut and just grind the burr off. In our case, we're gonna use a bandsaw. It makes a nice cut with a minimal burr. So anytime you're cutting metal, you're gonna get sharp edges. You can use a file or an abrasive disc to clean up the edges so you don't get cut. When working with threaded rod, use two nuts to protect the threads when clamping it in the vise. Also, when you take the nut off, it helps remove the burr from when you cut it. Most people store things in their garage, so we built this set to simulate a garage. The first thing we need to do is locate the ceiling joists. Joists. Joists? Yeah, those things. Oh. Most joists are spaced 16 inches apart. Use the stud finder to find your joists and figure out which direction they run. Now it's time to figure out what size you want your shelves to be. Ours are gonna be 12 inches deep by 32 inches wide to match our joists. Our brackets are made out of perforated metal tubing and we'll fasten them to the joists using lag bolts. The square tube is strong enough to support our shelves and make it easy for us to secure our threaded rods. Cut your tubing to match the depth of your shelf. Drill the outside holes to 3 8 of an inch with a step bit to hold your threaded rod. And drill the second hole in from each end on both sides to fit your 3 8 lag bolts. Make sure you space your brackets slightly off the wall so you have room to install your fasteners. Drill pilot holes for your lag bolts and drive the bolts in with an impact driver. With the brackets mounted, it's time to measure how far down you want your shelves to hang. Ours are going to be 48 inches from the ceiling. Now, cut your threaded rod to the appropriate length. Use nuts and washers on the top and bottom of the bracket to secure your threaded rod. Now it's time to build our shelves. Cut your perforated angle into four pieces to create a frame for your plywood shelf. Measure the inside of your perforated frame and cut a piece of plywood to set inside. Pick the height of your first shelf and run the nuts temporarily into place. Install washers and slide your plywood shelf onto the threaded rods. Next, install your long perforated angles followed by your short pieces. These go on the bottom to keep the shelf from sagging. Install more washers and nuts underneath the shelf. Repeat this with the second shelf. Just get them roughed into place. Leveling the shelves is a breeze. Just adjust the fasteners to make the shelf level. And you're done. We have a lot of useful storage and we didn't take up any floor space. And the best part about this stuff is that it'll fit any space, so get creative. This time we built shelves, but this material is great for building tables, workbenches, or anything else you can imagine. Thanks for helping us, Jimmy. Chris, thanks for having me. I had a great time. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by giving us a like and hitting the subscribe button. Be sure to let us know what projects you plan on building with this material in the... I really love working with this stuff. I bet we could build a pumpkin catapult for Halloween. Build a cage for my nephew.